So today I'm going to be doing my December slash January favorites and I didn't really have time to do, honestly, to do a December favorites um, in December or even like in January. So, and I also did like my best 2015 video in um, December so I thought I might just as well just kind of combine the two months and I didn't have that many things so yeah but I'm just going to go ahead and get started so let's just start off with like beauty I guess. Um, one of the first things I've been loving is this spray, which Dalton's mom actually got me for Christmas, so thank you. Um, I don't think I included this in my what I got for Christmas, but it was just like a random thing that she got me. It was really cute, and then also came in this little Santa bucket. It was really, really cute. But it's this, um, scent from Bath & Body Works. It's called Mad About You. It smells so amazing. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. So I've been wearing that a ton. I've actually used a good amount already in, like, the month of January, basically. So yeah. Okay, and then I actually also worked um, with the company Vanity Planet this month, and I have worked with them before with like different kind of beauty items that I've shared with you guys. And this month, um, or this time, they asked me if I wanted to try out basically this teeth whitening kit and share with you guys so that, you know, you guys could check it out as well. And I definitely thought this was something you guys would like, and I was really excited just to try it out and see if it worked or not, because whenever I use like the white strips, it really hurts my teeth. Um, and I just don't enjoy doing that, so I would so much rather use something like this because it does not hurt your teeth. Um, I tried it and it does not hurt your teeth, and I just like I like it a lot better. The package that I got came with two syringes that I already used, so I can't really show you guys the um, like stuff in it because I already used it. Um, but I will just kind of explain to you guys how I did it. Um, I thought it'd be kind of weird to film me doing it, so I'm just going to explain it. So you are supposed to, I know with the white strips you're not supposed to clean your teeth, but with this you are supposed to clean and like floss your teeth before you do this. And then you get these, um, do -do -do, basically you get this little tray and you go ahead and fill it up with the syringes. You get a blue one and a clear one. You go ahead and fill it in with the white one, just like the inner part of it you fill in with the whites and use too much because it could irritate your gums. So first you're going to go ahead and mold your trays to your teeth of course. So yeah, you just open this and mold it to your teeth and then you will go ahead and you can use them after that. Um, so once you have put everything, put them in your mouth, you will go ahead and use your LED light. I just still have mine. I put mine back in this little baggie that it came in. Um, so yeah, you basically the, you just use the little LED light and when you get your package you'll have all the instructions on how to use that to do it. And that's pretty much it. So it's really simple. I really felt like it worked really well and made my teeth really white and just it didn't hurt my teeth which is what I liked really liked about it because it always has hurt in the past when I've used white strips so yeah but I do have a discount code for you guys so um, I have a 75% off discount code which is amazing for you guys so definitely like check it out I will have all the links down below um, to this as well as just randomplanet.com. I don't think I have any more beauty items so I'm just gonna go ahead with my random ones um, so the next thing is this pair of earrings because it's kind of fashion I showed you guys these in my what I got for Christmas, but I think it was my what I got for Christmas. But they're basically just little gold um, Mark by Mark Jacob earrings. No, focus on this, not me. This, there we go. <laughs> and yeah, so they're just gold Mark Jacob earrings that look like this. I think they're really, really pretty. And um, I'm just wearing them a ton in the month of January, so that's why I included. Ooh. So that's why I included them in here, and I just really like them. I think they're super, super pretty. And I got them from my family friends, so yeah, they're really, really nice. My next random favorite is this candle, which I got from my best friends Tara and Anamike for my birthday, actually, and it just looks like this. So, it'll like focus. It says aromatherapy lotus. Yeah. It smells, I, mean, I wish, ew, it sounds so gross because I have a cold, but it smells so, so good. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's just an amazing, amazing smell, and I'm trying not to use all of it up, so that's why there's a good amount left because I really don't want to use it, but I can probably just go buy another one, but... I love this so, so much. I've been burning that the whole month. And it's from the store Sussenigreine here in Denmark. Another random favorite is this Danish magazine. So if you're not Danish, I guess, like, I mean, it doesn't really apply to you. Like, which, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But um, I just wanted to share it if you, there are any Danish people that watch me, which I know there are. But it's this magazine called Notes, and it looks like this. So first off, this is probably one of the most amazingly, like, aesthetically pleasing magazines I've ever read or bought. But yeah, it's beautiful. It like looks amazing. I love the cover and just everything about it. I love how it's like thick so it's not just like flimsy magazine. And it's just beautiful on the inside. And it's basically, it's a fashion and kind of like um, fashion home decor kind of magazine. So it's like supposed to be like um, fashion, like furniture, that kind of stuff. But then at the same time, they have a theme every month. This one was actually sexuality, which is really interesting to read about. And so they have a theme, and then as well, they have little, um, 
they have art a ton of articles so it's like actually really long articles about this theme and then relating it back to the fashion and furniture and that's that kind of stuff which is so interesting how they do that and it's I've just enjoyed every single article so much and I do prefer this more than a fat like a magazine um, I guess like a normal fashion magazine because um, I actually get to read like really interesting articles and there are still a lot of like fashion inspiration in it and because they do have like pictures and lookbooks and then they also do of course have some advertisements of products but for me it wasn't it just looked really classy the way they displayed it so I would definitely check that out it costs the same as all other magazines so if you live in Denmark I would totally recommend that next thing is I guess a fashion item um, and it's just this nude beanie which again I showed in my what I got for Christmas but I've just been loving wearing this a ton this um, in January as well as December. It's just super comfortable and warm and I'm just obsessed with it and I love the color of it because it just goes with everything so I love that and it's from ASOS if I didn't already say that I don't think I did. And then I think my last, oh no this, no it's not my last random favorite. One of my last fa favorites is this tea from Puka. Um, I know I share, I literally share tea every single month and I think I've said that in my last favorites as well. But this is a chamomile, vanilla and manuka honey tea and it is so so amazing I love it I just love vanilla and the honey in it and oh it's amazing so I've been drinking a ton of that and just the packaging itself smells so good and I just love the packaging of these teas they're so pretty okay another random favorite is my bathrobe from Victoria's Secret which I also got for Christmas for my boyfriend Dalton um, it's like inside out because I literally used it in like I think like a day ago or something but yeah it just looks like this smells just so clean and good but it's just like a black bathrobe I did show this already but I'll just show you guys again um, but it just says Victoria's Secret with like little like pinkish white lettering and then it just goes all the way down it's just super fuzzy and warm and it's short which I really like about it so and like super long it's just like short so I love that and I'm just wearing a ton and I've gotten so much use out of it it's amazing um, I just love not putting clothes on after the shower like just as long as I don't have to put clothes on it's just amazing so yeah. Okay, and then my last random favorite, finally, I'm pretty sure this is my last random favorite actually, is my Adidas shoes. Um, I also got these for Christmas, what's new? Um, yeah, but I've been wearing these a ton since I got them, and I just literally live in them basically. Just like all my sneakers, um, which is why I really want, like I did wear all my Christmas wish list, was because I knew I would get so much use out of them, and they're just amazing. So they're just white with black stripes, and then they have like kind of nude bottom as well as nude right there which I think looks really cool so they're not just all white and black so now we're gonna go on to I guess like media stuff <laughs> I don't know so we're gonna go first um, we'll do TV show so for TV show of the month I watched the Danish Christmas um, series that we always have I share this like every in my, my previous like January favorites um, from past years I always mention this but this year it was called a uh, Juleunskill, and it was super cute. Me and my family would watch it like almost every night together, and it was just really fun. It's like really gets you in the Christmas mood. So, yeah. Um, another series is of course The Bachelor has started again this month, and I've been watching that um, online as much as I can. I'm always like a week behind because I can't like access the newest video until it's been a week, so that really sucks. But you know what? It's okay. I still get to watch it, so I'll, I just watch it like um, a week later. Yeah. And the last show is Mad Men. I also started watching this this month. I watch way too many shows at once, but it's actually really good. It's a little bit slow in the beginning, but I really love like the time period, the 50s and stuff, and I just think it's really interesting. So I really like that series, and I've been watching that a ton this month, so I will so definitely check that out if you haven't checked out Mad Men before. Because um, I was kind of like, I didn't think it was going to be good, um, and I asked with some friends and stuff, and then I started watching it, and it ended up being really good. So yeah. In the month I went to see Star Wars with my family and I actually have like, I've never liked any of the past Star Wars movies um, just because the way they were filmed, I just it was just hard for me to watch, like it was just so old, old like the way they were filmed and <laughs> that sounds so bad, I'm like it sounds so typical of our generation, like oh, I can't watch that, it's not filmed right, like good enough, but it was just kind of hard for me to watch. But the new Star Wars, I actually was surprised, actually really surprised, like surprised that I really liked it and I thought it was really good and I'm excited for like, I know they're going to make a ton more probably, so I'm excited to watch those and I actually thought the storyline was really good and interesting and it was a long movie but I still liked it, so. Yeah, for books um, of the month, I watched, I watched, I read two books and the first one was The, the Air. Um, which is really good. I don't remember the author's name, so I will link them down below, but it's called The Air, 
and it was super super good I like loved it um and basically um, it's a series and I've like read all of them and then I read this one and then I think there's coming one more like one last one in actually like this month I think so I'm super excited for that to read it because I've just been like waiting but it's super good um, I've talked about the series before on here so I'm just gonna link it down below in case you guys are interested but um, it's kind of like, I'll give you guys a hint, it's kind of like The Bachelor and The Hunger Games combined. So yeah. Um, but taking a place in like a castle, castle princess kind of way. And then the second book was Dark Places by uh, Gillian Flynn, I think, the girl who wrote, who wrote Gone Girl. And this was a really interesting book. I definitely could say I literally had like, I wouldn't even say nightmares, but I just had really weird dreams when I was reading this book because... Yeah, it's just, it's a really dark book, to be honest, but it was really good, and I did really like it. I didn't really get scared when I was reading it, just, I don't know, it, but it was, like, thrill like thrilling, but it was more, like, crime, interesting, I don't know. So, it really wasn't that bad, but I would totally recommend it um, if you do, like, kind of crime books, and if you liked Gone Girl, um, and it is actually made into a movie, which I haven't watched, but I'm kind of scared to watch it, because the movie seems scary in the book. But maybe I will. And lastly, now I'm moving on to music. I don't even like remember on the top of my head, so I'm gonna go have to look. So I really like the song Never Be Like You by Flume featuring K Kai. Yeah, it's a really good song. And then um, as well as the song Clap um, In the Beginning by Claptone. And I also really like the song Hands to Myself by Selena Gomez. I know it's like typical, but I just think it's really good. Um, and I really like this song. It's a Danish song. It's just like a really like inappropriate rap kind of song. It's called Slim Again or Bad Again. Um, so I'll link it down below in case you guys don't listen to it, but it is Danish. I like the song Low Life by The Weeknd. Um, and I also really liked um, Crash by Skizzy Mars. As well as this is, oh no, this is the second last one. All My Friends by Snake Hips. And then Feel It by... Jackie's featuring Rich Homie Kwan and Lloyd. I don't even know how to say any of those things. I'm probably butchering it all, but I will have every like a link to all of it down below in case you guys want to listen to it. But that is basically it for my December slash January favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this, got maybe some inspiration from it, or and are excited for the new year. But I love you guys so so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!